If you want to share your precious single source of truth, Jira, in a familiar spreadsheet that you can share with anyone and know that they're able to understand it, then you're in the right place. While Jira does have an export to Excel option, the thing is with that option, when you export your data in a CSV file, it will quickly grow stale. It's not actually tied to your Jira instance. The options I'm going to show you are free, first of all, which is great. And two, both of these apps stay in sync with Jira, which is really important so you can feel confident when you're sharing your spreadsheets that they're displaying accurate information. Now, I know I said they're free, but I really wanna highlight why that's so important. There are a lot of paid premium apps in the marketplace that allow you to make a spreadsheet. But when you buy them, you have to get a license for everyone who has a Jira license in your org. I didn't want you to break the bank. That's why I chose these two options. So let's get to it. Now, the first option I'm going to go over is Jira Cloud for Google Sheets made by Atlassian. It's really designed as an add-on that allows for a one-way sync from Jira to Google Sheets. You can also use JQL and filters to kind of alter the query for what's being pushed over. However, there is one caveat, which is Atlassian announced in 2022, they were deprecating this app. The outcry from the community was big and therefore Atlassian reversed that decision. However, the app is still very much in maintenance mode and sometimes people complain about syncing issues. Now, the second free option is Visor, spreadsheet and Gantt chart for Jira. You can also export your Jira spreadsheet into Excel or Google Sheets with Visor, but the cool thing is with Visor is you can share your Jira project data right in Visor's spreadsheet. It's also designed specifically for Jira. I'll go more into the nuances of what that means in just a little bit. I'll get into the nuances of both of these options in a moment, but I quickly wanted to address why Jira spreadsheets are so gosh darn popular to begin with. And it's because people love spreadsheets, or if they don't love them, then at least they're familiar with them. Executives especially love a colorful representation of data, and spreadsheets also just make it very easy to share your Jira data with external stakeholders who might not be in your Jira instance. Now let's look at the differences between these two options for your Jira spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna go over the two options at a very high level to begin with, and then later on, I'm going to show you how to actually use them. So let's start off with Jira Cloud for Sheets. First of all, it's an official Atlassian app. Atlassian actually made this. And it's also a Google Sheets add-on. So if you're already in Google Sheets and you don't wanna leave Google Sheets, you simply add this on and your data from Jira will get imported. However, it's been in maintenance mode since about 2022 and therefore, like I said, there are sometimes some syncing issues that have been reported. Another thing to note is that it's one-way syncing. This means you can push your Jira data into, Jira, into Google Sheets using this app, but if you make changes to your data in Google Sheets, you cannot push that data back out to Jira. Also, a thing to, that's great about this app is that if you are a spreadsheet whiz and you love Google Sheets formulas and functions and you wanna make pivot tables, then this is probably the option for you. It's also a wonderful way to share your Jira data with stakeholders. Now, let me go into Visor and what some of the similarities and differences are from Jira Cloud for Sheets. For one, Visor is an Atlassian Marketplace partner. You can find us in the Atlassian Marketplace or on our website. And it's a spreadsheet-inspired workspace. So you can do a lot in Visor. You can roadmap, make Gantt's. We're working on a dashboard view. But the spreadsheet is the backbone of our app. We're also constantly making updates and improvements to the app, and that's why our syncing is very reliable. It's also a two-way sync. So you can not only import your Jira data into Visor, but if you make changes in Visor, to your Jira data, you can also push it back out. Also, your, when you import your data, it'll come in nested, so the hierarchies are intact. 
Now, Visor is really best for visualizing tables, Gantz. We're working on a dashboard. It's not for doing formulas and functions. And that's why we're really so popular amongst people who want to share their JIRA project data with other people so that they can have team alignment. So let's go into Atlassian's free option, the JIRA Cloud for Sheets. As a reminder, there are the limitations of one-way syncing. The app is not actively updated by Atlassian, so you might encounter some syncing issues. But it is really good if you want a free add-on, if you're a spreadsheet whiz and you want to make pivot tables, if you really only need one-way importing, then this might be a great option for you. And also, if you're not willing to use Jira-specific spreadsheets like Visor, you don't want to leave Google Sheets, this is probably your option. And also, if you want an automatic syncing option. So let me show you how you can use Jira Cloud for Sheets. Now, when you're in the Atlassian Marketplace, you'll look for Jira Cloud for Google Sheets, and then you'll click on Installation. From there, you'll see that you're directed to the Google listing for this Google add-on. Once you're in the Google Workspace Marketplace, you'll hit Install and give authorization for this app to get added to your Google Workspace. There's quite a few authorizations you'll have to give throughout this process. To make it easier, make sure you're signed in to both Google and Jira. And even when this add-on is successfully installed, you'll still also have to connect Jira to the add-on. Choose the Jira environment that you want to work with in Google Sheets. Then you'll be able to go to Extensions, Jira Cloud for Sheets, and see the Jira Cloud for Sheets add-on in your app. From there, you'll be able to get issues from Jira. There's a basic importer and also a JQL, the ability to pull in through filters. You can choose from multiple Jira projects, so you're able to pull in issues from more than one Jira project, which is really helpful if you're dealing with large sets of data. I'm just going to choose a few myself. You can also choose what issue types you want. I'm going to go with Epic, Subtask, and Task. They also have ones like Bugs and others. You can decide what status you want to pull in. So do you want issues that are only done, that are only in progress? You can even decide the text that the issue should have. You can select how you would like the issues ordered. There are some pre-selections there that are more typical. I'm going to go with Due Date. Um, actually, I'm going to change it. No, I will do epic name. And then you can have the max amount of values. You can preview the fields that you're bringing in. There's some default ones that are more popular, but if you go to edit, you'll see a whole bunch of fields that you can decide that you want to pull in. Your instance might not have all of these, uh, but you will see the normal usual suspects there. And you can even schedule syncs between Atlassian and Google, but it does require some more authorization. I'm going to not do that right now. So once you're done, you can just hit get issues now and you will see that a whole bunch of issues got brought into Google Sheets. Pretty neat. Now we are going to go into Visor, the other free Jira spreadsheet alternative. So just as a reminder, you do have to do a CSV export step if you want your data in Google Sheets and you don't want to share your data right in Visor's spreadsheet, which you can do. Um, and it's not really not for performing spreadsheet functions like pivot tables. It's more about visualizing your data and sharing it with other people. So Visor is good for you if you want a free Jira spreadsheet that's designed for nested Jira data and Jira fields. We accept over 75. It's also great if you're not married to Google Sheets, you're open to using another spreadsheet that's very similar, but again, designed for Jira. It's also wonderful if you want to visualize data for others in a colorful spreadsheet. You can also transform the data into a Gantt, a roadmap, a dashboard, so many different options. And it has two-way syncing. So as I just showed with Jira Cloud for Sheets, there's the one-way import with Visor. You can also push out changes you make in Visor's Jira spreadsheet 
back to Jira, which is wonderful for bulk editing. And also, if you want to really control your syncing and you don't really care about an automatic refresh option, Visor allows you to hit a sync button, and that's when the data will actually get synced. So let's get to it. Let me show you how to use Visor's Jira spreadsheet. Now, I'll walk you through some of the key features, and then I'll show you in the app how to use them. So Visor offers a bi-directional Jira integration, as I mentioned. You can choose one-way sync if you only want to import, but if you want to push data back and forth, we have that two-way sync. It's also a spreadsheet-inspired workspace, which allows you to maintain Jira nesting all the way down to the subtask level, all the way up to the initiative. So you can get very, very granular if you want. But because we have really awesome filtering, you can decide the level of granularity that you want to visualize. And we also offer color coding options, which makes the visualizations look awesome and ready for whoever, especially your CEO, your boardroom, whoever needs to see the data. And then lastly, there is a JQL importer that lets you import more than one JIRA project. And you can also add milestones, which is awesome, especially if you're using our Gantt feature, our road mapping feature, but it even works in the spreadsheet view. So let's get to it. All you have to do is find Visor in the Atlassian Marketplace and click on installation. And from there, you'll see a registration URL. Let me show you how easy it is to get set up with Visor, importing your JIRA data into Visor, and then I'll show you what it looks like when all your data is in there. So number one, you connect your JIRA data to Visor. It's super simple and you just have to add an authorization. And from there, you'll then select the JIRA project you want to import. You can choose one JIRA project, or if you know JQL, you can bring in more than one JIRA project. You'll also be asked to choose whether you want to maintain the JIRA nesting or ignore it. Most people choose to maintain it. That way your spreadsheet will have nested hierarchies exactly like JIRA does. And then once your project is imported, you can make it your own. And so when you're importing, you can choose the JIRA fields that you want. We accept over 75. And once they're in there, you can add custom fields in Visor to complement and enrich your JIRA fields. You can also add conditional formatting all the way down to the exact RGB colors that you want to make a really colorful spreadsheet or roadmap or Gantt. So let's go into Visor now and I'll show you what it looks like when everything is all set up. Now here's an example of a Visor workbook that has a lot of JIRA data. And as you can see, it's very colorful. And that's because formatting has been added, conditional formatting. So if I go down to the priority level, you'll see all the different colors that have been chosen. And I could make any changes if I wanted this green, although I did like that bright green or yellow rather. And it's super simple to add formatting. You can also auto format and have Visor choose the colors for you. And you can also choose the exact RGB that you want. These are just presets, but if you want to have the exact hex code, well, we got you. You'll also notice that we have filters. So let's say I wanted on the sprint level to look at AG Sprint 1. Well, my workbook then is now altered and I'm able to just look at that sprint level. The cool thing about Visor is that you can make multiple views using you know, filters if you want to have a spreadsheet that has just high level views or one that has more granular views. You can create multiple spreadsheets in your workbook. Not only can you make multiple spreadsheets in your workbook, you can also create roadmaps, Gantt's, and even capacity planning. But I will stick with the spreadsheet today and also point out the fact that you can add custom fields that are unique to Visor. So let's say I share the spreadsheet with my CEO and I say, please fill this out and let me know on a zero to four scale how interested you are in these initiatives. He could fill this out 
And this complements the JIRA data that I also have. A lot of engineering teams use Visor in this way. They might communicate back to customer success, why things are stalled, when things will actually ship, nuances that they, the customer service team can then communicate back to the customers. So Visor also allows you to sync and import. And so when you're in the sync and import area, you can choose, as I mentioned before, the one-way or two-way syncing. You, if you just want one way, then it would just import. If you want two-way, it would push back out. Uh, and we also offer more advanced JQL options as well. So if you go to advanced settings, you'll be able to see that. We have a lot of information in here, like what fields you have and just action items that you might want to take to keep your data as fresh as possible. And a cool thing that I should point out is that Visor is even bringing down all the drop downs that are available in JIRA. So let's say you have assignees, we'll not only bring in all the names that are available to be an assignee in that JIRA project, but even their photos. So Visor acts a lot like JIRA, but in a spreadsheet form. Now, if you make changes in your workbook and they haven't been pushed out to JIRA, you'll notice this little yellow corner here, and that's noting like, hey, this is a change that's ready to be pushed out. So unless you actively want to import or push out changes, Visor won't do any automatic refreshes. You have to hit the button sync and import for those actions to actually take place. One last thing, if you want to share your workbook with other people, it's super simple. You can add them in here or you can create a sharing link and then share the link in Slack, on email, and your coworkers or stakeholders will get an invitation to join you on the workbook. Now, when you share that link or you share your workbook here, you can decide, do you want them to be a viewer? Do you want them to be a commenter? Do you want them to be an editor? Do you want them to be a workspace or a workbook owner? So there's lots of options for the level of access that you want to give other people. And it allows you to collaborate with different people in different ways and visualize your JIRA data in a way that's palatable for the audience that you're working with. So that's Visor in a nutshell, super easy, and it's also free to get started with. Well, I think we pretty much covered everything today. If you have any more questions, feel free to go in the comments, try out Visor for free, or read more on our blog. We have an entire blog post dedicated to this topic, and we also have tons of other blog posts about all things Jira, Agile, project management, you name it. Have a great day.